my parents always struggle to keep me on land and out of the water. <laughs> when I see sharks, dolphins, or sea turtles, I want to jump in and enter their world. Three years ago, I was in Hawaii watching a lady fishing. As she laid down her catch, I saw the white, lifeless body of a dead baby hammerhead shark. Eyes glazed over, mouth wide open, never to swim again. That was the shark that changed my life. I remember being so upset that people were destroying my future. To destroy the oceans is to destroy ourselves because every second breath we take, that oxygen is produced by the ocean. I thought, what can an eight-year-old kid do to make a difference? That's it. I went to social media to educate and empower people to make changes to help save our ocean. Because when you love something, you want to protect it. The work you've done is amazing, Mason. I first fell in love with the ocean and all of the animals that call it home at my family's favorite getaway, the Sunshine Coast, where we go to snorkel, paddle, and explore the inlets. In fact, I love the ocean so much, my family jokes that I've got salt water in my veins. <laughs> I was 10 when I first arrived at Mossum Creek Salmon Hatchery. It felt like I was coming home. I love being surrounded and mentored by people who have been environmentalists for decades. It's incredibly inspiring, and it's challenged me to fight for the oceans I love. As a regular salmon enhancement volunteer and shroomkeeper, I work hard every week to protect our Pacific salmon. I perform regular water quality testing to monitor the health of our local creeks, and I also fight against plastic pollution however I can. Do you ever wonder about the deadliest thing lurking in our oceans today? Some of you might immediately picture great white sharks or poisonous jellyfish, but the truth is much more terrifying. The deadliest thing in our oceans today is plastic. According to leading scientists, there are now more microplastics in our oceans than there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Most of us know that smoking is bad for our health. But have you ever thought about what it means for the health of our oceans? Research shows that just one cigarette butt in a liter of water could kill half the fish in that liter. That's how poisonous the residue from a cigarette butt is. Did you know cigarette filters are not paper and not biodegradable? They're made from cellulose acetate a form of plastic designed to look and feel like cotton. Cigarette waste is a leading contributor to plastic pollution in our oceans. Smokers around the world purchase about 6.5 trillion cigarettes each year. That's over one million tons of plastic. One million tons? According to my calculations. Separately, that would weigh as much as 5,000 blue whales or 50,000 whale sharks, or 400,000 great white sharks, or two million bottlenose dolphins, or 25 million emperor penguins. Wow, that's a great way to visualize that huge number. <laughs> <laughs> One afternoon, I walked down a beach in Florida and came across a dead sea turtle trapped in plastic. As I looked into the turtle's eyes, I knew I had to do something for a creature that couldn't defend itself from plastic pollution. I needed to make the oceans a safer place for all the creatures that call it home. Plastics were destroying what I love. I realized it wasn't only that we were taking too much out of the sea with overfishing, that we were putting too much back in. We were throwing in plastic that we've only used once once that plastic 
then joins its millions of companions polluting our waters. One night, I dreamt about going for a swim to see how many amazing sea creatures I could see. But the moment I slipped under the water's surface, I realized that something was wrong. There was plastic everywhere. Plastic bags, plastic straws, and cigarette butts. A fish floated by, its gills choked with plastic. Then I woke up. Thankfully, it was all a bad dream. But I realized, unless we all make big changes, my nightmare will become a reality. When you love something the way that I love the ocean, you want to protect it. I'm glad I've never had a dream like that. Yeah, consider yourself lucky. Even if you're not a smoker, you can help keep cigarette butts out of our oceans. All you need is gloves, a pocket ashtray, a tissue, or even a dog waste bag. The best thing to do with cigarette butts is to recycle them. Companies like TerraCycle compost the paper and tobacco and recycle the cellulose acetate filter into new plastic products. If you can't recycle them, put them in the garbage. That's way better than leaving them in our streets, where they end up washing to our swim drains and then our oceans. We're two out of 7.7 billion people on this planet. But if we make a change, it helps. Our talk is only 10 minutes. The plastic crisis can't be solved in 10 minutes. But if kids like us can be determined to make a change, so can you. Taking action isn't that hard. Taking action can mean refusing plastic bags and plastic straws, picking up garbage from the ground, taking leftover plastic back to recycling centers, or bringing reusable mugs to coffee shops. If you need more information about reducing your plastic waste, you can follow many sites on Instagram and Facebook. We all know the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. But that's not enough. Around the world, we only recycle 9% of the plastic we produce. We need to shift our thinking to the six R's, refuse, reduce, reuse, repair, rethink, and then recycle. But Mason, not everyone knows what that means. Let's explain that. Refusing is the most important. The less plastic you bring home, the better. Rethinking is really important too. Do you really need that product? Last but not least, repair before replacing. Before you buy something, run it through the six R's. Refuse, reduce, reuse, repair, rethink, and then recycle. We have power as consumers to demand changes that will help protect the health of our oceans. Let's stand together. CEOs, business owners, and citizens to work towards a better future for our oceans. Together, we can be the change our planet needs. Together, we can do something amazing. We don't want our future to depend on a society that hopes and will do something. This is the time for us to take action. We can't wait for someone else to solve this problem. By 2050, scientists estimate that there will be more plastic by weight in the ocean than fish. But it's not too late. If we all make small but meaningful changes, together we can make a big difference. We have a dream of clean, healthy oceans filled with life for future generations. If we all work together, we can make this dream a reality. Our future absolutely depends on what we do now. Because when you love something, you want to protect it. Thank you.